October 7th, when my great niece Abigail was taken as a hostage by Hamas terrorists to Gaza, I found myself on the hill here pretty much like a week and a half after, and I met you. And I also met Congressman Steve Scalise, two very different leaders, but one of the things, and then many others, and I was here to, in a position of needing so much help to get Abigail free and 240 hostages free. And more and more people started to come, but one of the things that has been consistent is that Democrats and Republicans have been together, united for these hostages. And we saw at the State of the Union when President Biden spoke, the Republicans joined the Democrats in rising two times, one for John Lewis and the second one he talked about the hostages. And I just say, you know, as an American and having been put in this position that I celebrate in the midst of all this tragedy and this horror and that we're still living with that both the Republican side and the Democratic side have come together. So I just wanted to say thank you because I know that that's part of leadership on both sides to make that happen. That's been incredibly important and your leadership in that regard, you know, has been so meaningful, so authentic, so heartfelt at a very searing moment for you, your family, Abigail, and of course the hostage families in Israel, in America, and every person of decency and goodwill, regardless of what their ideological perspective is on a wide variety of issues, both domestic and national security, should from the standpoint of humanity recognize the trauma that has been inflicted on the hostages and their families, and for that matter, the Israeli people, and work in a bipartisan way to stand with the families make it clear that we stand with the hostages and are prepared to do everything possible to bring them home. And I'll just add to that, you know, one of the messages that I have been as a hostage family member and Abigail and 109 women and children were released at the end of November, 2023 in a week. And one of the things that I have always talked about going back to that humanity is that yes, you need to release these hostages. They, they are innocent people that were kidnapped and stolen you need to find a way to stop the fighting and we need to help the people who the Palestinians who are living in Gaza. And I think that the, that that's my personal message, but I think it goes back to like, we need to take care of each other as people. And that's, you know, part of the reason why I started this podcast before everything was to really talk about the heart and humanity. Cause I realize and recognize in our leaders, there is a lot of heart and humanity, but it doesn't always get past the two minutes you get on a news show. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. And I think there you know, should be some core principles that bring us together. Hamas clearly has to be decisively defeated. That's a core principle. The hostages must be returned. That's a core principle. They've been kidnapped and held in horrific conditions for months. Yeah. Torn away from their families in the most horrific of circumstances. And we also must surge humanitarian assistance into Gaza so we can be there for Palestinian civilians who are in harm's way yeah. in a theater of war through no fault of their own. And we can find the space to recognize that these are some core principles that we can all lean into and then build from there yeah. to get to a place where we can find a path forward, and I'm thankful for the leadership of President Biden, toward a just and lasting peace between Israel and the Palestinian people.